Hi there, here we have a Creality Ender 5 Pro which I recently acquired and uh, has a little problem with the cooling fan coming on at the lower speeds and it's also making a bit of a whining noise so in this video we're going to see uh, if we can fix it rather than uh, buying a replacement. So to demonstrate the issue if you come into the menu while it's not printing and you go down to the control option and then down to temperature and there's a fan speed setting. So if we start turning this up, uh, probably to around 60, which is a fairly low speed, that should demonstrate the issue. Now as soon as I press that, I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone, but there's a kind of whine coming and the fan isn't spinning. Now if I gently sort of push it, you can see now it starts spinning up. So it's kind of not auto starting on the lower speeds. Once you get the fan up to speed then, on high, uh, it will start going on the higher settings like 100 for example. What I notice is when I'm doing the prints uh, after like the second layer goes down and the fan is running about 33% it doesn't actually start by itself. Once it gets up to about 60 or 100 it's fine. So what we're going to do is basically just see if we can take these screws off and get into the fan and just apply a bit of lubricant and see if that helps. So alright let's uh, unscrew the fan and go from there. So here's the fan taken apart and disassembled. Now the front cover is just clipped on so you just gently prise that off. The problem is trying to get the main uh, rotor out as uh, it's a push fit and it's quite tight because it's held on by this little plastic washer and that basically is um, pushed down into this reservoir where, where the oil sits. Um, in the process of doing that I did actually manage to break the coils because I don't know if you can see it here at the front, they are basically soldered underneath there. So um, I basically had to prise this off and then re-solder the wire back on. So hopefully that has uh, fixed that issue. I've ordered a replacement fan anyway, because uh, just to have it as a spare, because given that this got damaged, um, I'm not sure I would trust it for long-term use. But uh, it was interesting to take part nonetheless. But what I'm going to do now is a squirt a bit of oil in there. I'm probably going to use something like three in one, uh, which acts more as a proper lubricant, and uh, put it back together and see if it works. So we'll do that now and come back. So here's the fan put back together, and fortunately, despite breaking the um, wire, it does actually appear to be working. So this is running at six volts at the moment. If you look here on the uh, power supply, now if I crank this up. It's actually quite quiet, I can't really hear it. So I'm going to turn the power supply up to 12. You can see it's still spinning strong, so let's take this now up to... ...18 volts. Again, it does seem to be quieter than it was. Looks like the oil has helped. Now let's take it all up to 24 volts. And there we go. So there we go, 24 volts on the power supply. It's actually drawing about 50 milliamps, and as we can see, oh my hand there, it does actually appear to be blowing quite nicely. So yeah, managed to save this one, fortunately. Um, but I've ordered a new fan anyway. Um, so we'll see how we go. So here's the fan fitted back in the machine. Still need to uh, tidy up the cables and stuff, but just connected it up to so give it an initial test. So we go back into the control menu and turn the fan speed up. Then, as we can see, it should start spinning. Now, weirdly, I was expecting it to start on a setting lower than 100, but uh, I think it's just the way it is with these fans. But yeah, anyway, a bit of a faff in the end, but yeah, I went to service it regardless, uh, although I had to do a repair. Was it worth it? Probably not, given these are £5, but it was interesting nonetheless to take it apart and have a look. But I wouldn't recommend servicing these as they're quite delicate. And it's probably better just to uh, buy a replacement. 
But if you do need to do like an emergency repair while the emplacement arrives, then hopefully this will help. Thanks for watching.